very <laughs> cautious of you there, yeah. Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've been uh, really focused on the roads today from uh, not only uh, any issues you're faced with out there, but also uh, an exciting uh, announcement here this morning on Good Morning Iowa. We know uh, DOT Director Mark Lowe, uh, he comes on the show regularly to let us know what's going on with the flooding, but now today, is a big initiative we're talking with uh, teen drivers. That's right. So Emily Stein, who is the president of Safe Roads Alliance, is joining us as well. First of all, tell us what is this new program you are rolling out right now? Yeah, so it's it's something we're very excited about. It's called the Parents Supervised Driving Program. And I want to explain right away why, why Emily's here, because it's not something that we just created. Uh, Emily is president of the Safe Roads Alliance, and it's something that they have delivered in 26 states now, I think. And it's, it's basically a guide that helps parents be strategic and very effective with guided lesson plans uh, and different driving experiences to help them lead their child through uh, how to become a safe driver. And that's something that's very important to us at the DOT because the two key things we know are th is, is that uh, tra traffic crashes are the number one cause of fatalities for teens, mm -hmm. and teens are three times more likely to be involved in a fatal crash. Well. So I might let Emily talk a little bit about what the program is. Sure. Um, so we, Safe Roads Alliance was formed in 2006, and at that point there was no guide, no resource for parents who were in this phase of teaching their kids how to drive. Um, so the program, we first launched it in 2011. Um, it was created in, in collaboration with uh, many driving advocates, educators, the CDC, uh, NHTSA, to come up with this best practice program um, so parents know how, how to teach their teens, how to drive, what steps to take from, you know, just watching parents drive, mm -hmm. you know, walking around the car to see, okay, wh what, what do we need to keep our eyes out, all the way to driving on the freeway and city streets. So how old are these teens? I know that, you know, when you're 14, you can start doing the learner's permit and have a parent in the car. How old are these uh, teens in this program? When are we starting now? Is there anything so different? Whenever they get their permit. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so generally that group that's between 14 and 18, depending on when they start, uh, we do about 36,000 instruction permits a year. Most kids start somewhere between 14 and 15. Uh, and so and part of the program is to give this to every single teen and parent that comes in to get their instruction permit or guardian or whoever's helping them, helping that teen learn to drive. And it's all going to be done through an app that you, a parent can download or a parent or guardian can download right to their phone, correct? Well, it, it's multiple platforms, okay. so this, this is the guidebook, so when the teenager gets their permit, mm -hmm. they will be handed this guidebook, <laughs> and, um, you know, it has, it has, you know, many skills and many lessons all the way through, and then they also can download the Road Ready app, um, and what's exciting about that app is it not only logs the hours, so everything's all there, and it can be used by, you know, the mm -hmm. teenager, parents in the household, all on that one account. Um, but built into the app is an online version of the guide. So okay. if you need to reference a skill really quickly, it's all built okay. into that app. Very yeah. cool. We'll get into more of the technical stuff. This is this is kind of an exciting new program that uh, everybody's going to be seeing. So we'll uh, we're going to check back in with uh, the DOT as well as uh, the folks behind the app to let you parents know how you can uh, utilize this and keep your kids safe out there. So thanks for being yeah. here and thanks for sticking around with yeah. us. That'll be in about a half an hour. So stick with us for that. But we have lots more ahead coming up on Good Morning Iowa. First, though, here's ABC Stephanie Ramos with the first look at what's happening after us on.